Still talking measures to curb the spread, Ogun State Government says it will begin enforcing the wearing of face masks as from May 1, 2020. Governor Dakbo Abiodun, who made this known while addressing journalists on Friday, said that violators risk being arrested for even or even isolated for 14 days. He, however, said the distribution of over 2 million masks would begin soon, after which the enforcement would begin. Abiodun also taxed the citizenry to take cognizance of health, safety and recommendations that have been issued. According to the governor, it is important that we do not allow the continued surge in cases and the attendant risk of continued community transmission. Joining us is the public affairs analyst at Deni Kunu via Skype to look at this development. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. So some states, including Ogun, intend to enforce the use of face masks. What is your perspective on this? Well, I'd like to look at the advantages first, uh, which is, um, as has been said, it is to actually curb the you know opening or the susceptibility of people to actually contract the the virus which is one and secondly i think um, is the best that can be done in a situation where you find that um, the states that we find ourselves especially our health sector is actually deplorable uh, but that is just the positive then let's look at the other side of it we're talking about a nigeria that is peculiar for you know, uncontrolled prices of things. Uh, the nose mask, as well as the hand gloves that used to come very cheap, have gone as much as 50, 100 percent higher than it was. So when you're making it compulsory for people to wear the mask, I want to hope and believe very sincerely that they've actually put into consideration those who really don't even have money enough to eat, let alone to get this particular mask. So. Um, I think that it is very important um, for the government to not only make it compulsory for people to wear the mask, but to make provision for everybody so that they can actually have the mask. If you look at what is happening in Cross River State, uh, it is compulsory because Cross River State is not on lockdown, but Governor Ben Ayadi has made it compulsory for people to wear the mask and he ensured that the Cross River garment uh, and clothing industry makes provision for everybody to get it free of charge. So that is another thing that I believe will work in Lagos, in the state and other places where there are less laws. Okay, one thing is to issue the order. The other thing is to ensure that people follow. Do you think it would be easy uh, to enforce uh, face masks, considering, like you mentioned, the economic implication for those who can barely eat? Will the government be able to enforce it? Well, that's um, a problem because um, I think it is easier to tell people to sit in their homes uh, than for you to tell people, okay, if you must move around, then you have to move around with a mask, uh, because that's another dilemma. On the one hand, people have been kept at home, it will be approximately a month, that's on Monday, that I'm talking about tomorrow, and well over 80% of those who have been locked down have not added to their incomes, rather they've been spending, if at all they have this money to spend. Then if you look at the other side of it, you're talking about people going about with a mask. Let me tell you one of the things that I've exper experimented with myself. I usually have my exercises at least an hour, an hour, 30 minutes every day. And one thing I found is when you begin to take in oxygen, perhaps when you've worked for long and the nose mask is there, you could find it difficult to breathe at some point. So that means if you must take in sufficient oxygen at some point, you need to take the nose mask off. This was the experiment that I conducted myself in one of my exercises. And I have to say that if people must actually wear the mask anytime they are outside, then maybe they need to do customized masks that allow them to be able to breathe in and out easily. Because don't forget that when the mask covers the nose, it has actually reduced how oxygen flows in and out of the nose rails. So that's another fact that must be considered. I think that what is ultimate for government to do, if it is possible, and which I know it should be possible, is to extend the lockdown but ensure that everybody gets credited certain amount of money at least for food within the next that to sustain them for one two weeks there are no excuses here i must say it here the government has been voted in to ensure that the lives of the citizens matter so that they can plan for such incidences as this so 
the government needs to try. And don't also forget that lots of people pledge billions and billions. Now, part of what these billions were meant for is actually to mitigate the crisis of this pandemic. So if people do not consider that when those who are kept at home cannot eat, that is another pandemic on its own, then I begin to wonder the philosophy of the lockdown without any kind of reprieve for the people. That is how I see right. myself. So it's um, the, difficult. You seem to align with the enemy on the issue of extension of the lockdown. So I'll just move on yeah. and ask you, what will be the likely impact if the lockdown is extended? Well, let us say this. Okay, fine. Uh, Nigerians, uh, many Nigerians work with the informal sector. Many Nigerians do not have any benefit from government. So that simply means each day the average Nigerian goes out and does everything possible legally, I expect, uh, to survive. So one of the things that happen once the country is locked down is, let's look at government first. For the past one month, government has not been receiving revenues in certain parts of the economy because of the lockdown. Then for the individual, who perhaps would have done one or two more things and made some more money, the individual themselves are not making money, as well as the organizations that would have paid taxes to government. So on both ends, people are losing. But we believe that as government, certain things have happened in the past where government has kept certain amounts of money somewhere. Don't forget, we have the Sovereign Wealth Fund. Don't forget, we have um, different savings. Domicile in the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation talking about the debts or the indebtedness of states. The, talking about the all, all kinds of accounting, as it were, are there. So I think that what could be done is, even if it has to do with the money collected, as I said, the impact will really, really, really shake everybody. Because when money doesn't, as it were, come into the coffers of government, it becomes difficult to spend, it becomes difficult to actually accomplish what has been set out to be accomplished. So I think that at this moment, what will help government not to have more crisis on its hand is to ensure that if the president must announce a lockdown today, and by the way, um, I want to say this felicity, I expect the president to announce a three-month or one-month lockdown of Kano State today, because that is going to be another dangerous, dangerous upsurge that will affect the entire northern region of the country. We're talking about crisis within the medical sector, and I tell you, it is worse off up north. As you can see, for the past four days, no test is being conducted in Kano State. All we've been hearing is Gandhuja is asking for $15 billion, and I've not seen him demonstrate the capacity to think out of the box and use alternative places where they could have tests. We okay. see the crisis there. Northwest, Kanu State is a key state in Nigeria, especially in the northern part of the country. So right. what affects Kanu will definitely affect adjoining states and many others. So it's a lot of problem. I, I support the lockdown. I support lockdown with palliative 100% for all Nigerians. Thank you very much for your time with us on the news. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're yeah. most welcome.